lot better if I was paying them if I was paying them. Welcome. We're glad you're here with us this morning. Um, I'll just introduce our master craftsmen, Mr. Dave Fetty and Mr. Frank Workman. Good morning, everybody. How many have been here? This is your first time. Oh, a bunch of you. Hey, you're old timer. You've been here as long as I have. <laughs> well, welcome everybody to Fenton. Uh, glass is starting out just like this right here. That is crystal batch. That's what it looks like to begin with. And then that goes into a furnace and we melt it at 2600 degrees. And then it melts anywhere from 12 hours to 36 hours depending on the nature of the glass. And then we cool it down to working temperatures at around 20 and around 2,000 degrees. So that's what glass looks like to start with. It's a raw batch. Frank and I are working with blowing glass. And this is a blowpipe. It's hollow. It's a hollow steel tube. And uh, the uh, pipe has to be hot in order for the glass to stick to it. Glass will not stick to cold metal. So therefore, and you can see the, the color of the, of the pipe where the heat comes to. From here on up, you can hold your bare hands. I like to use these gloves to keep my hands from getting dirty and also to keep my hands getting sore. And this metal, you know, dries your hands out and then you're the dry when you get sore, so therefore I like to use gloves all the time. So we'll get started, we're going to make a piece of glass, and I'll explain to you as I go along what I'm doing. Uh, Frank will explain what he's doing, but I'm going to start out with milk glass right here. And then I'm going to roll it in some grit. That's the milk glass. They don't have no milk in them, but that's what we call it. It's white. Now I've got a can here. It's got some real fine glass in it. We call it Frit. We've got different colors here, and the glass has to be hot in order to pick that up. This is called a glory hole. It runs around 22 to 2300 degrees. We have to have a hot like that to melt the glass back down. Now I'm going to add a little more to it. And when we're not using the glory hole, we turn it out to save on the gas. But the tanks and pots the melting units that has the glass in it, we had to run those 24 7. The gas bill runs right around $100,000 a month. So that's why we have to sell a lot of glass in order to pay the gas bill. Now I'm going to let that glass all swirl up. I just keep turning it one way and as it melts, it'll swirl. And this will give it that crayon look. Now we block this out in the, in the carbon blocks here so it'll be nice and smooth. It has to be nice and round so when you blow in it, it will blow out straight. Those are crooked, then you're going to end up with a crooked piece of glass. That's where you got to start out with it straight. Now we're going to let this cool a little bit, get it hardened. So when I cover the glass, well then it won't collapse. I'm going to go cover this with crystal clear glass. 
then you'd be able to see the, the, the color inside. Take that and squeeze it out flat. 